Hello everyone. Welcome to this session of creating a manual journal entry in NetSuite. In this video, we'll show you how to create a simple journal entry and show you how easy it is within NetSuite. There's some basic steps such as logging into NetSuite, filling out our primary information, and selecting the accounts and saving it. And we'll also show you what happens when a journal entry is not in balance and how the system will automatically flag it for you. So first off, log in to your NetSuite account. You will then go to Transaction, Financial, Make Journals, Journal Entries, and you'll see it right there. Next is the blank journal entry form. And so now you can see, depending on your screen, it looks very similar to this. Now we're going to have to fill in the primary information. So we always start with the subsidiary or the set of books. If you are a simple company that only has one set of books, you won't have to worry about subsidiary. But if you have multiple sets of books that you need to consolidate, you want to pick the right subsidiary. You can also fill in the memo field, a description of what the journal entry is so that you remember. And we have the date and the posting period. The date is the date of your journal entry. The posting period is when the journal entry, the period that it will be impacted. Usually the date is the same as the posting period. What's different is sometimes if you're going back to a previous month to make uh, to fix something, to adjust something, or even the previous year. So that's why we have the posting period. So the next step is we're going to create a two-line journal entry. Really simple. So we have to then select our GL accounts for the journal entry. And when you click the drop-down menu at the top, you'll see that all of your accounts are available. And in this case, we're going to select our banks. And once you select the bank, it will tell you in further detail, here's our one bank account that we have available. If your books are more complex, you may have 20 or even 30 bank accounts that we can select from. So the journal entry starts within NetSuite always with the debit amount. And the easy thing is that the field will come up on the debit amount, debit column, and you'll enter the amount you need to. And we can use the tab key to move to the next field. And you'll notice that we have department, and so that could be a sales of some sort. And we also have class. In this case, we are a manufacturing company or an inventory company where we have racks that are wood. And we click the Add button. So because we're doing just two line, a two-line journal entry, there's not much. So we can just copy from the previous button so that all the details uh, from the previous entry follow us. We don't have to re-enter anything. That's the nice part. Now we can enter our credit amount. And to enter our credit amount, we would choose the GL account receivables. And our cursor will automatically go to the debit field. And in this case, we don't need a debit. We're only doing two lines on a journal entry. So we delete that debit amount. And your cursor, once you click the tab button, the cursor will automatically go to the credit column and will auto populate the credit field with 10,000. And you can click add. That's how simple it is. So this is what a journal entry looks like when it's in balance. Our debits and our credits equal each other. So we have, we're receiving cash into our bank account and we're crediting accounts receivable. Let me show you what it looks like when a journal entry is not in balance. If a journal entry is not in balance, meaning your credits don't equal your debits, a shaded line will show how much the journal entry is off by. In our case, we created a debit, uh, a credit amount of only 5,000, so it shows up that we are now missing 5,000 of credits, and we have to fix that before NetSuite will allow us to save this journal entry. So once we fix that, we are then able to save the journal entry successfully. And you will see on top a green stripe that comes up that says confirmation, transaction successfully saved. 
so now you can see how simple it is to create a journal entry in NetSuite. Thanks so much for listening, and we'll talk to you next time.